Good morning, St. George Jeepers. It is February 16th, 2021. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. And we're here at the Washington Dam Trailhead and we're going to go out and head to do uh, Westrim Trail, which is a four rated trail. And the awesome thing about Westrim is it's kind of the off-road highway through Sand Hollow. It's a really great trail to get a start on. If you've never been to Sand Hollow before and you wanna see what it's like or you're new to off-roading, this is an excellent trail to get your feet wet, see how your rig can do, see how you can do. And so with that said, uh, St. George Jeepers this morning, we're gonna get several new people. We're probably gonna have a bigger group um, just so these, these guys can come out and try this trail, which is awesome. So we're happy to have them along. And it's a great fun trail. Uh, fault line goes across it. Faulty Towers goes across it. Several others do. So there are options on the West Rim Trail that make it a little bit more difficult if you want it to. Um, my goal today is just to stay on West Rim so you can all see what the options are like and what the main trail itself is like. And anyway, with that said, hang on for the ride. Let's go have some fun. The ridge back entrance to West Rim. And right here where they're coming up, it's been dug out a little bit by the side by side. And you can see they're coming up it without lockers. Nice and easy roll. Nothing too bad. What an absolutely amazing day. This is, you gotta love Southern Utah. It's just beautiful blue skies. Turn right here, you can see the snow up on the Pine Valley Mountains overlooking Sand Hollow. And it's just gorgeous. So I drove up ahead and I'm walking back down here. There's only a few named obstacles on the Western Trail and two of them are right here together at the beginning. You've got the steps and the funnel. And the steps are pretty easy. The funnel is a good filter for West Rim. If you can make it up the funnel, you'll make it through the whole trail. Uh, it's just a good test of your approach, uh, breakover and departure angles. And I will show you that here in a second. Here they come. Okay, here comes Bill, our stalwart leader. Coming up on the steps. Did you ask for a better background this morning for a Jeep video?
This is pole boost number three. There's one to the right, there's one to the left. But they're just narrow block spaces. I'm just walking through it. Pick up the group on the other side. I'll show you. Skinny again. Alright, Bill, show us how it's done. spot we're coming up to is officially known as the horseshoe and it drops down right to the edge um, and then comes right back up it's a little difficult coming back up especially if you have a short wheelbase but you will crawl and I just see Bill coming up it right now um, I'll flip the camera around and show you everybody making their way up as you can see them coming up here is a little rocky stay to the driver's side but there's a 600 foot cliff here behind everybody. You see, he'll crawl right on up there. Nicely done, man. Yeah? getting it from Dixie, Dixie Four Wheel Drive um, and the Utah Public Lands Alliance. They have a member section and I believe it's $10 for life. You get all the GPX downloads from the Utah Trail. Highly worth it to support the Utah Public Lands Alliance. Um, and you can see there's at least three different lines right through here. There's sections of trail so it's different views. There's a lot of crossovers and it's easy to get lost. So if you don't come with the St. George Keepers or somebody who's been out here before, definitely have a map and pay attention to it. What do you two think of this? Awesome. Is this your first time on this trail? It is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Having a great time. And Ken, you've done this trail several times, haven't you? Yeah.
is for sure. Glad you're having fun. That's a profile picture right there. You ruined it. getting her out to stretch her legs today. Have you tested it this much before? Never. All right, are you impressed? Yeah, All right, so where I'm standing now on West Rim is uh, the convergence of fault line of West Rim. And this is Menlo's choice for fault line obstacle. I've shown you this before on the fault line vi uh, video. Yeah, it's a difficult one. It beats your your rig up pretty good to make it up there. Um, Jason just went up that way, um, and everyone else is coming up around here. Are you going that way? So this is another spot where there's several lines coming in and out. It's nice to have somebody who knows where they're going that you get to follow. That's a fun shot right there. Okay, I want to address this real quick while I have a second because we get asked all the time and we get asked by a lot of the newer drivers out here is what kind of tires to run and what kind of air pressure to run. And the answer isn't straightforward. Um, we've got everything out here from 31s to 38s. Uh, I think that's the biggest we have out here. And everyone's running between, I don't know, 18 and 10 PSI. And it depends on the weight of your uh, rig. It depends on what kind of wheel you're running, what kind of uh, tire rating you have. Um, so ex experiment with it. Go out there and try something. Ask the people that you're out with. Um, but don't let tire size or air pressure stop you from coming out because the club that you're going with is going to have people who know what they're doing for the area and they'll be glad to help you. Uh, the same way the St. George Jeepers are, we're going to get everybody through uh, regardless of what you're running.
wanted to film this spot because for some reason with new drivers or inexperienced drivers, they get nervous on this one because it tips you into this rock. But he's doing awesome. You want to stay a little bit more right than you think. And you'll be just fine. But case in point, let me show you. See all these scuff marks? This is all people who've got way too close to the car. They've got a serious amount of damage to the rim. There's no reason to be that close. And you feel tippy, but you can see from outside, it's not that bad. So where we are now, in my opinion, is one of the more interesting places of the West Rim Trail. We are about to enter into the lunchroom, and to do so, there's a good series of S turns and some rocks you gotta climb over. Um, if you have a spotter, or somebody knows where they're going to show you the line, it's really not difficult. And I will show that to you, here we go. All right, so this is really the first obstacle in that series. You see how close he is to this rock on the right. See how close he got? What happens is people come too far to the left. And when you come too far to the left, it tips you into this rock. And you do all this damage to your vehicle. So you want to come in real close to that rock, and it will push you away. I'll show you here with Gina behind me. She got real close. I got him through here. If you want to go ahead. Whoop, don't roll back. She's on a good line. There she goes. Okay, so she hit her fender a little bit. Oh, he'll be fine. I'll get him through there. Good job, Gina. So she's trying to manage that clutch. She'll get it. Good line, Ken. Good line. See how close he was? Not too close, but close enough. I'm going to bring him back a little passenger. There he goes. And he just cleared it. Nicely done. So that's your line. That was exactly how to do it. Ken, that was perfect. All right, so after you've done that narrow spot, you come in here and you do a U-turn. Climb up this chunky rock, which really isn't that bad. It's this next spot up here that catches people out, but it's not Passenger 
side on this side of the rock. There you go. Okay, straighten out a little. There you go. Keep coming. Steady throttle, hold that line. Hold it, driver. Keep coming. Come on, keep coming. There you go. Now come passenger. Perfect. Well done. Uh, we'll see how Gina does it with her manual and no gear. No gear. She's killed it once. We're going to do a drinking game every time you kill it. It's going to be wasted by the time we're done, Gina. That's one shot. Two shots. off, you hit that outside rock. Easy. Full scent, Gina, jeez. <laughs> oh, did you kill it again? That's three. three shots on this one alone.
that's it. Thanks for joining the St. George Jeepers today. We had a great time on West Rim. Jeff broke his uh, bracket and I, he made it off safe, we heard. So that's good. Everybody else made it through just fine. We had a great time. So thanks for coming along with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. West Rim is an awesome trail. Highly recommend you get out and do it just to check out Sand Hollow if you need to. Um, as always, look up the St. George Jeepers. Uh, we're glad to take people along. It's a lot of fun. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking it. Thanks for leaving us a comment. It's always appreciated. Definitely enjoy having you with us for these rides. And you have a great day. Peace out.